<clears throat> What's up, guys? It's your boy, Gilly. And I kind of messed with the map, map a little bit. I, I know if I slide that over the top one, something's going to happen. Now, I did find out we had a map. I didn't know we had a map. And then we can look at our inventory through here, but yeah. I think something's gonna happen when we. Oh shit! Carl Faubert made a profession out of reconstructing a hole from seemingly incongruous parts. This Ooh. reconstructed globe forced him to recognize how much more complex the mystery that was currently plaguing Manistan was in comparison. Oh my gosh, there's a lot to read. Uh, that's about his wife, the top paragraph is. Hmm. Can't see. Alright. Now, this key, I believe, goes to this. I, ha I have this special key. Special key required. What was that? What was that key that we just got? Hidden key. Opens a door somewhere. Journal, flashlight, first aid. Okay. Requires a special key. Alright, well, we have a key now. Now, we don't know what it goes to. Now, I wish I didn't just stomp everywhere I slot for another side. So, we got. All right, there's a locked door about the basement. Have we been in the basement? We haven't been in the basement. Okay, I think we're going outside. Guys, I don't know. I don't know why this game is doing this to me. I don't know why loading screens are my worst enemy. I'm so impatient. I think that's what it is. I'm just impatient. Did we get to check this? Oh, what? Uh... Why does that look different than the rest? Why is there a path? To my dear beloved and talented wife, the world is now dimmer without your inspiring flame. You're always Chicago's best actress. Hmm. Lock from the other side. Oh no. Is this a ladder? Thought it was. Kinda wanna see if we can get to the basement. But first, let's 
<clears throat> I don't know why I want to come down here. Plant. There's a boat. We need a boat. Requires fuel. I wonder if that's the people that shot at me. Yeah, it requires gas. Let's not jump to conclusion, Gizzy. Let's not let's not jump to conclusions. Mm. Wait, can I Ow. Okay. We got 12 bullets. <clears throat> we need them. Looks like somebody's been through here. Body, body put his hand away like that. Oh, what the heck? Unlock that. Cannot be opened. Okay. This letter found in the cabin mentioned the gazebo. The key to the mansion would likely be there. Yeah, but I already grabbed the key. Yeah, I already grabbed it out of that box. I hate that. Uh, I just used my med kit. Oh, shit. Great going, Gizzy. The only med kit you found. You found a million batteries. Then you found one med kit and use it. <sighs> Gizzy, Gizzy, Gizzy. Okay, I hate that. Alright, it's so locked from the other side. Cannot be opened. We can get nice and toasty by the fire. Was these apples like that? Guys, were these apples like that? I've yet to go down here. Okay. Seems to be stuck between the first and second floor. Bathroom. 
It's locked from another side. Added to the mayhem was violence. Carl understood that a tragedy had occurred here. Why does that look like that was maybe moved? I don't know. Oh God. More bullets. Lot from the other side still. There's definitely radiation this way, though. There's a lot of radiation right here. Right up under this. Oh, there's so much radiation in this thing. Oh my god. I did not see this door. hardly find their way in front of him. He doesn't know which way he came from or the way he's going. <laughs> I know where the hell I where. I know where I circle, came from. A spiral carrying him. He doesn't know where or how. I'm going outside. I hope. I hope it's nowhere scary. Oh, I had chills. Oh, it was running in my back. <sighs> Where are we? Carl suddenly feels like he's waking up, but inside the dream. 
Carl. What are you tripping on? What was in that Cole bullet? hits him suddenly, like a bucket of freezing water. Had he completely lost it? Or was he supposed to accept the manor's strange architecture, suddenly leading him to the middle of nowhere? By the way, the storytelling in this? Love. Whoever they had These voice These imposing acting structures in? seem to come from the depths of time, or from the moon landing, or even from his own mind clouded after an afternoon nap. The detective had no idea how it worked, but the stones seemed to slide on the rails smoothly as soon as the totem pole was rotated. Okay, that one's green. That one's green. He did not know how or why, <clears throat> but Carl sensed that something in this game had been completed, and now they wanted to lead him to this cabin. Why? I just caught chills again. Why? We'll be back soon. We'll be back soon. We'll be. Oh my God! Bobo had been left all alone, abandoned to his fate. There was no longer anyone to rescue him. Of hatred that swept away his heart. A broken pendant. Grave. It's no longer visible. Alright, maybe hers? Wait, can I look at the back of it? No, why, Carl? Carl, why? The detective felt like he was sleepwalking, pulled by a larger force towards the light that was calling him, as if it was asking to be set free. You're an idiot, Carl. You're the an idiot. The stone that resonated in the room must have been one of the fragments HMC had been seeking. If he isolated it, Carl hoped he might come to his senses. The why would you think that, Carl? invaded Carl's mind. And he felt a strange, dark presence what the, near him. What the fuck is that? Carl? Oh, no! Are we dead? Did Carl die? Vision. All right, so I all right, so I was meant to happen. I was meant to. <clears throat> this game's trippy. Okay, we're back. <gasps> Shit! Oh my god! Carl could make out some trophies here and there that he had seen earlier in what seemed like a dream. Oh, we have this room up. Carl, get your damn gun out. What are you doing?
We need that. We need gas. Why is the music getting weird? If Carl had an army of veteran researchers and endless coffee jars at his disposal, he could hope to sift through all these archives. But the circumstances were working against him. The secret was hidden somewhere in the middle of a messy pile of worthless memos. Yeah, we're not looking through all of this. You're right. Good. Glad that door is locked. I'm going back the way that I came. Well, we're not cold. Oh. We may need that. Bullets. Batteries. Where in the seven shades of hell are we? Pressure is at its maximum. Cannot be rotated. Cannot be rotated. The whistle <laughs> slowly dying down like a kettle going out meant only one thing for Carl. Mission accomplished. What the? No! Oh, shit! This wolf had a strange appearance, larger than average. And these blue eyes, that icy stare, Carl felt an instinctive terror rise. <clears throat> yeah! As long as this wolf's coming after me, I'm good. Okay, there goes upstairs. She required that we don't have. More bullets. Okay, good. Now I can pull my blicky back out. Oh, shh. Man is wolf to man, said the philosopher. Seeing the state of this poor woman, one could only imagine such fury which would explain the barricades and the fright that Carl could sense in the chaos of the place. What had happened right. here was not caused by a man. Just kind of skimming. Mark of some vandals. I really was hoping to everything that she didn't jump scare me <clears throat> why is all the lights off what's our mission what are we doing what's our goal 
Let her go. Okay. Well, that door can be opened. Now what is this? Well, this would probably be helpful if I'd read this. No! God! Nah, get the damn blicky out. Stuff... Stuff ain't normal around here. Well, keeps us from going that way. Always... Need batteries in a creaky old house. Okay. Carl couldn't put his memories in order, but there was a more pressing issue. The decaying mansion had collapsed on top of him, trapping him in the basement. Huh. Alright, can we go back? Can we go upstairs now? Yep. I think that sound is that. Oh. Hell no. I don't like this room any better than the last one. They give me a lot of bullets. Good. Glad it's locked. My nerves are through the roof. Mental in size. Carl Fulbert was a bitch. <laughs> Guilty! <laughs> Carl! Now keep your finger on the trigger! Carl, put your fucking flashlight back out! <gasps> what in the hell? <laughs> Girl, where the hell is your flashlight? As he approached this room, Carl again felt an unpleasant sensation of energy, as if his entire being <clears throat> was bubbling on a molecular level. Uh, are we not supposed to go through here? Faubert knew a 
instinctively that it was not the wolf. That no, gaze that... that never left him, that icy blue gaze, was not that of an animal. Oh, there we go. Okay, right stick, right stick to turn on the flashlight. Alright, so that needs a key. Jeez. Carl, you gotta... I don't know what I just picked up. You gotta identify your targets next time, Carl. Oh, maybe we'll find a rifle. It was forced open. Okay, it was all forced open. And the frozen corpse. Frozen. <clears throat> Take that money. Take that money, Carl. <sighs> I'm gonna fall. Pink room. In this boudoir's former glory, you would have seen Lady Hamilton's refinement in every inch of the tapestry. It had become only a shadow of what it once was. Hmm. Well, good. Dang it, yeah, there was a lock there was a locked um room over here. Oh, is, is it this room? Yep. Carl, make sure your shit's reloaded. Just a few days of renovation work, and you'll finally have your very own projection room, my dear. Aren't you going to say anything? There's <clears throat> nothing to say. Whatever do you mean? That room. It's not for me. Nothing has ever been. Come now, don't speak nonsense. You know I love you. As much as you love Cynthia? Who? Mm. I know about her, William. And I'm too weary to care. About anything. You're off your rocker. There is no Cynthia. Never mind, it doesn't matter. Well, you brought it up! It must. I'm no city. Hearing the screeching sound of the elevator. Carl imagined a metal animal trapped in a snare. There had to be a way to release it. Box of typewriter keys. Alright. 
Oh my gosh, all kinds of stuff to read. Fix my flashlight. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't just hear that door make a sound. Carl, keep your gun out. Never let it leave your sight. Um, put that back. Don't ever grab that again. And get your gut out. Oh no! Why well, break a gun that has run out of ammo? I don't know, but I I want it. Oh, freak me! All right, guys. We're going to stop it right here. If you want to see me get scared again and just scream your little ears off, like and subscribe. Good.